Hi, this is Gene Russo from the Wolf Wrist Podcast. I just saw an early screening of Isle of Dogs, and I love this film. It's one of my favorite Wes Anderson films now. Um, it's very much, it's very much like Fantastic Mr. Fox in tone and humor, but at times it's a bit more serious. Um, it's very Kurosawa inspired, um, storytelling wise, and just some of the story elements. Um, I found it very personal for dog lovers like myself, and it'll bring a tear to your eye. The voice cast is stellar. Everyone is a good dog. Um, Jeff Globloom is uh, one of the funnier dogs, and Bill Murray is great, Jason Schwartzman. Uh, Brian Cranston does also one of the better voices in the cast. His dog has such a great arc. Also worth noting is the respect to the culture which Wes Anderson gives. He uses a lot of Japanese actors and they speak Japanese in the film and um, so that's you know I'm glad that they had that cultural respect in the film. The film talks about a lot of important themes, such as animal cruelty. Um, it reminds me of 90s animated films where, you know, they talked about this in the Q&A that I went to. Uh, Jeff Goldblum and Courtney B. Vance, where they tried to, and the producer, they tried to make it very sad in its silence, where, you know, you could just hear like a pin drop, and that's the only thing you hear, and it's very lonely, and you get the sense of loneliness for a lot of these dogs, and it has just such a good heart to it, um, and, you know, the film has just themes that really drive home that are just timely right now. Um, I was really impressed by it. Um, I hope Wes Anderson keeps making stop-motion films whenever he gets the chance, and they're the all they're all good boys. <laughs> Brent. Uh fifteen ten. But please check out the movie when it comes out next week and hope you enjoy our review. We've been professionally unprofessional.